Hello, I'm back with an instructional video on how to count your locks. I decided to do this because the first time I counted my locks, it was something I just did on a whim. And there's a possibility that count was inaccurate. So if an accurate count is important to you, try this. And I'm doing this in real time, so I'm going to go as quickly as I can. All right, my hair is freshly washed. I haven't done anything to it except for separated them. It's still, well, the back here is still damp. But I've separated them, and I've been doing that throughout the day. Maybe later today or sometime tomorrow, I will actually retwist them. Now, get your rubber bands or, well, I'll, I'll save my other little things over there for later. Okay, and just grab hair and put it in your rubber bands and you don't have to double wrap them or anything if you have elastics you can use that too just whatever you have use it grab as many or as few in each section as you like the reason why I'm doing this first I had thought about maybe grabbing some counting them and then banding them but I think doing it this way there's less of a chance of leaving locks out because once it's all banded, I can see if there's some that I forgot to catch. Those of you who are opposed to rubber bands, if you have elastics or something else, that's fine. I don't think there's any danger in what I'm doing. So I happen to have rubber bands around, and that's what I'm using. So while I'm banding this up, let me just talk to you about a couple things. Um, I am in my mid-30s. Wow. And I'm... I have given consideration to coloring my gray. I have some gray strands. Don't have a head full yet. Can't even be considered salt and pepper, obviously. But there's more than a few, and I know that with time, I'm going to get more. I thought about doing some of the natural rinses with the different teas. I've also thought about um, semi-permanent and permanent hair color. And at this point, I've decided against the permanent hair color or semi-permanent, anything like that, because when you do any type of chemical process, if you want to maintain the look of that chemical process, you have to be diligent about the retouches. And even though in some ways I'm, well, I'm feeling some type of way about the idea of having gray hair in my mid-30s, but one thing that I like less than gray hair is seeing gray hair grow out. We've all seen it, or maybe you've been a person who decides to stop coloring your gray and then you, you want to grow it out. And I think the grow out process, that's one grow out process I do not want to endure. Now I'm all for growing out relaxers because I didn't chop my hair off. Um, mainly because at that point in time, well two reasons. I wasn't ready to have short hair and I was in high school so my mother wasn't going to let me cut all my hair off. But with this color thing, the worst thing to me is when someone is growing out the color. That is one instance where I feel like you should just cut it off. And with gray hair, I mean, how do you camouflage it? It's gray, and then it's whatever that color is. So I said that to say I have decided to either... Hmm, now these, I should put these with someone. Okay. I've decided to either... Um, I might try one of those tea rinses once or twice because the thing about a rinse, even the chemical rinses, is that it'll fade over time. With each wash, it'll fade. So you don't have to worry about grow out. So I may try that. But if I don't do anything else, there's a strong possibility. That's a lot of locks here. I think I'm going to put that in half. There's a strong possibility that I'm just going to go ahead and go gray gracefully. Um, for the first reason that I mentioned because I don't like the way it looks when people gray, grow out their gray hair because I know I'm not going to want to color my gray for the rest of my life. I just know that. And number two, I like my natural hair color. It doesn't show up too good on camera, but my hair is primarily dark brown, but um, it fades into this coppery red, coppery reddish brown on the ends. Um, Maybe that's due to oxidation. Whatever the cause is, I like it a lot. Alright, we got those, and we got those, and we got those. So yes, I'm going to gray gracefully. And stand up with my head proud, and maybe by 
going gray by accepting that part of the aging process, it'll give me an incentive to keep the other um, attributes of the aging process at bay. Let's put it like that. Okay, so I have banded all of my hair and now it is time for the count. Now for this part, get a scrap sheet of paper and a writing utensil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take each one of loose, count them, write that number down, and go on, so on and so forth. Earlier I said I was going to do that in real time, but I'm not going to bore you with me counting. So I'm going to count this section here just to show you what I'm doing, and then I'll come back to you with the final count. All right, so I took one band out. Here we go. One, two. Three, and I'm looking in the mirror by the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, 24 right there. And at first I was thinking about leaving each one down and then counting, but I don't think I want to do that. I think what I'm going to do is the sections that I've counted, I will just do them like this so I can differentiate them from the ones that haven't been counted yet. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing all over my head, and I will be back with a final count.